<sighs> Thinking about my dad this morning as I run. This month, uh, a few days ago, marked uh, the uh, 18th anniversary of his uh, passing. Untimely passing. Uh, only 55 years old. And I uh, sure do miss him. He died uh, doing what he loved best, adventuring up in the mountains, high up in the Rocky Mountains in the United States with uh, his uh, the woman he loved and uh, his best friend in the whole world, up uh, having an adventure up in the mountains. Went real quick of a heart attack and uh, I know that if I could talk to him now, there's uh, uh, he, although he would have want, wanted to stay around longer, that's how he would have wanted to go. I think about him a lot, especially when I see stuff like this. Have a look at this. Look at this. Look at that bamboo rising up out of the mountain there. That grows the way it kind of billows and it's almost like a, you know, it's almost like waves rising, crashing against the uh, waves, crashing against rocks and spitting up into the sky. It's dawn now, and uh, in another uh, 10 or 20 minutes, the light will be playing on that hillside, which is beautiful, especially nice. And uh, look at these uh, rice fields ready for planting. It's going to be, you know, life just goes on. And I think about my dad as I wander through these mountains. You know, think about him and see these things. And it's on my mind. <laughs> I decided I'd, I was chuckling just a moment ago as I was running because I was remembering uh, uh, a little, uh, you know, every family and, and group of friends have their own way of uh, communicating and sometimes special words and such. And I was remembering uh, the, the way that my dad and his friends always greeted one another. Uh, my dad um, would belong to... a uh, Kind of a, an interesting group of men. You know, they were friends. They weren't any any firmly established group, but they were just buddies that had been buddies since college. And uh, they all had uh, funny monikers, funny names that came from back in the old days, back in the 70s, when we would all uh, caravan as families uh, through uh, California, Nevada, Oregon, uh, going off on adventures together. And we all had C our families all had CB radios, and our we all had vans, and we carried our boats and our motorcycles in the back, and off we go for adventures. And um, each of the dads would drive the vans, and, and these were a core group of about four or five families. And we'd drive, drive the vans, and we all had the CB radios, and endless banter on the CB radios between the dads. Funniest stuff you've ever heard, better entertainment than any television. My brother and I would sit in the back of the van there and just listen to them, you know, play off one another and have the funniest time. Anyway, they all had handles, and uh, my dad's handle was Grizzly. And the reason he was called Grizzly is because he had this big bushy beard. You know, this started back in the 70s when that was the thing. And he kept that beard until the end of his days. And he was Grizzly till the end of his days. Everybody called him that. Uh, his best friend uh, was a guy named uh, Gary Wild. And uh, Gary was a wild man, of course. He had come from the wild. And he lived up to it. <laughs> another, another notable figure in that group was uh, uh, Jack Olson, Action Jackson. And... Uh, of course, there was uh, Jim Bice, Bison Breath, and uh, many others. And we kids had our handles as well. And uh, I think mine was uh, Desert Rat, and uh, my brother's was uh, a Red Flag or something like that. I think that was it. Was that it, Lyle? I think so. Anyway, but the main characters there were the dads. They were the funniest group of ever. And we'd go out in our adventures, and we'd sit around the fire wherever we were going. We always camped out, and we would build a big bonfire. And this is back before people thought much about the ecology, and <laughs> someone would always bring uh, a big tire to throw in the middle of the fire sometime in the evening. There was lots of alcohol going on, and uh, this fire would roar into just a giant monster bonfire, and the dads would be laughing and playing music. We'd have one of the vans, we'd be out in the middle of the desert, and the vans parked in a big circle like a, like a, like a covered wagons waiting for the, 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 the uh, attack. And we'd have the van covered in a circle, the doors of one van open, and the seats there, the stereo, just blasting. Bachman Turner Overdrive at full volume, Creed and Clearwater Revival, um, you know, whatever, Moody Blues, oh boy, those nights with the Moody Blues with the stars up above and the fire roaring, and the Moody Blues singing those, 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 you know, heart strumming med sounds. And the men laughing, and all oh, the kids, and they would send us to bed, but we wouldn't go to sleep. We would uh, lay there on the dirt in our sleeping bags and uh, listen to the laughter into the night. And sometimes I would wake up in the middle of the night. All the mothers had gone to bed. All the kids had gone to bed. 
And just those, that core group of four or five men would be, uh, I could see them off there in the embers of the fire, just the glowing embers. And I could hear them mumbling through, not mumbling, but kind of talking slow, lowly. It was night, it was the quiet time. And they would be deep in philosophical thought. These were thinking men. And they would be talking about things I couldn't understand. And, and you know, I remember getting, you know, you're a full crap wild man. And, you know, there was no better compliment than to be told you were full of crap, wild man or grizzly or whoever the case may be. And they loved to argue. Those, those men just loved to argue. And, and they would explore, man, I wish I could have recorded some of those conversations. They would explore realms of thought and contemplation about things that, that you know, are normally reserved for the ivory tower in some cases, but sometimes these truths may be revealed around a lonely desert campfire with a good quantity of alcohol and a hearty dose of laughter with friends. Good times. Man, I miss those good memories. Jennifer, if, you're, if you see this video, Rachel, Mark, Steve, uh, Lyle, and a host of other children that were there. If you see this, I'm sure you'll, you'll give me a, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyways. What am I, why did I start this video? I was thinking about a, a term that these men always used as a form of salutation. Well, more or less a, just a way of saying goodbye. And the term was, don't blow any dogs. And you always heard them saying that. You know, we'd be in a group together and getting ready to go our own way. And a wild man would look over to Grizzly and say, hey Grizzly, don't blow any dogs. And my dad would say, you do the same, you do the same thing. Don't blow any dogs. You hear it all the time. You even got it deep abbreviated sometimes. D B A D. D B A D. Don't blow any dogs. And still today, I use that phrase with my brother when I see him. You know, like part way, hey Lyle, don't blow any dogs. You're too curt. And it's just kind of a, an inside, uh, no longer inside, uh, uh, greeting that our, our, our family and friends use. And anyway, uh, what, 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 what does that mean? It sounds rather, uh, sounds rather uh, you know, lewd. It is. <laughs> it's as lewd as you can as you can imagine it to be. Those men were indeed lewd, although they were uh, professionals in their real life. They were uh, they were uh, they would have made a good good group of bikers if they had had that inclination. Well, anyway, that's it. Don't blow any dogs. The, the, the way of saying uh, so long amongst the, that fond group of friends. I sure do miss them. Those days were great. But uh, now it's time for me to uh, resume my run. So I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-